Hello everyone. We are doing a lot of projects in the space of artificial intelligence and we are using deep learning algorithms extensively. And uh, we thought we will showcase one such uh, project that we have done for a client which is half done I should say but I thought it's worth uh, you know showcasing this project to the wider audience so that they also benefit from the application of the same. Uh, now we would uh, share the screen and we're going to show you a specific image. Yeah, there we go. So the objective is the moment we have, you know, truck load of steel pipes, just using CCTV, uh, which is, you know, latched on to one of the poles over there, we should be able to determine how many steel pipes are there of different sizes, different thickness and different shapes, obviously, right? So that's an interesting problem to solve. So can we go ahead and show how to load the image? So we have used a lot of deep learning algorithms to build the solution. We are now browsing a specific file which we got from the customer. And um, then our algorithm would process and quickly it processed though it's on the local machine. And the details of what is a shape and what is a dimension, what is the thickness, etc., is given to us by the customer. That S means it's square, dimension, then thickness, so on and so forth. This data would then go in, go and sit in the backend database. And uh, you know that's how it's going to appear. So each time a truck full of steel pipes go out, we will be in a position to identify these things. Yeah. Thank you. Hope uh, you enjoyed this and hope this gives you a new dimension on solving business problems. And our goal as of now, uh, I told that it is half baked, half done. So we could accomplish it for one size and one shape and one dimension. We'll be expanding this to all the other shapes, other dimensions. But the heavy lifting here happens with respect to data collection. What kind of data you collect, from what angle you collect that. And then another heavy lifting uh, you know, point would be data annotation. And finally, another uh, thing would be augmentation. If you are dealing with vision-related applications, don't think twice, just do data augmentation. It will help you uh, serve the purpose of regularization and also it would help you, you know, to train your model using more data and that is what deep learning algorithms expect, right? Just increasing the number of epochs alone will not help. You'll also have to increase the data, right, in conjunction. Thank you so much.